In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to use XNURBS to create this aircraft wingtip surface. As demonstrated by this wingtip surface, this tutorial also shows how to blend G2 continuity into G0 continuity with XNURBS. Let's get started. For this wingtip surface, at this corner, only G0 can be satisfied. So we split this edge into three pieces so that we can specify different continuity. Start XNURBS dialog. We switch on the Show Preview option to show the surface generated after each selection. Now start selecting the edge. For now, we just keep the G0 continuity setting as it is. This is the surface generated from the three boundary constraints inputted. To generate the desired shape, we need input internal constraints. Let's select the internal curves. The XNURBS preview disappears because we need to specify the curve as an internal curve by switching off the boundary option. Here, you may also notice there are noticeable gaps between the boundary and internal constraints. This avoids conflicting constraints as it may be difficult to draw a 3D curve that is G2 with the existing surface. Leaving a gap will enable XNURBS to figure out the best G2 solution from your input. Now let's switch off the boundary option for this internal curve. For this edge, we will need to specify a G2 continuity. Select this edge, then specify curvature continuity. You can see the difference when specifying a different continuity. We now explain some of the sliders. First switch on the Zebra View option. For the flatness slider, you normally should use these two positions when generating a trim surface. Trim surfaces are also called non-quad-sided surfaces. These positions typically generate good results for non-quad-sided surfaces. It is not the case if you switch on the quad-sided surfaces option. We will demonstrate how to use the quad-sided surfaces option in other tutorial videos. For the quality control slider, you normally should keep it at the leftmost position. For simple surfaces, the leftmost position will generally be the right setting. If the generated surface is not smooth enough, you can improve its quality by dragging it to the right. Dragging it to the right will normally increase the number of control points needed. For this surface, we will need to drag the slider to the right and improve the surface quality. As you can see, the zebra view shows the difference. The XNURBS manual discusses these settings in details. Let's complete the surface and take a look at the zebra view. The surface blends G2 continuity into G0 continuity. For this wingtip surface, XNURBS uses a single trimmed NURBS surface to complete this design. Of course, if you want to generate a better model, you can adjust the input curves. The XNURBS form finding video shows how to fine tune a surface. You can also split the surface into multiple XNURBS surfaces to improve the design quality. This tutorial is made with the upcoming XNURBS version 5. Genuine version 4 customers will get a free upgrade to version 5. That is all for now. Check our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.